This is, you know, our third year here uh, at Burning Man putting on large scale uh, ballets. It takes a lot of planning to put on an event like this. First of all, uh, you have to bring out instruments that you're okay with getting a little beaten up. And so although we've got, you know, some of the top level professionals from all over the country and, and all over the world, uh, they still have to play on instruments that are not their, you know, their primary. And they have to um, play in conditions that are just brutal, as you know. And same with the dancers. Uh, you know, rarely do you ask dancers to, to dance in a con conditions of, you know, 100 degree heat for rehearsals and uh, dust storms right before we perform or rehearse. It's uh, really difficult, but uh, everybody really rose to the, the challenges here. You know, we started kind of talking about different productions that we might do. We were kind of toying around with maybe doing Swan Lake, maybe another more contemporary score. Um, and then when the theme of Metamorphosis came out, uh, it was just like we all just got together and we're like, everyone's like, Firebird, right? Yeah, okay, Firebird. When we saw that there was going to be this beautiful wing portal installation and we heard that also there was going to be a stage under it, um, we felt like this was just the perfect place for the ballet. I got an email from Art House and Art House asked me, they said, so we have this orchestra and ballet, and this year we're performing Stravinsky's Firebird. How would you feel about us performing under Wing Portal? And I just started crying. She was really excited to work with us. She said that she was getting emotional just thinking about it. And when we heard that, then we started getting emotional just thinking about it. Hey, my name is Christian Squires, and I am the costume designer and also lead, one of the lead dancers. Uh, I was the firebird. Uh, well, it is usually, the firebird is usually done by a female, and I think now our whole kind of humanity right now is kind of questioning what is masculine and what is feminine, and, and I think uh, showing that we have all sides of that in us, I think is important. Down, two, three, four, five, six, seven, perfect, 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 perfect. One, two, three, behind. I think that the, for me, the element of community and collaboration is what makes making work here so special. Not only bringing dancers of all different skill levels together, everything from professional dancers to dancers who trained when they were younger and still kind of dance recreationally to people who have never danced before. I mean, I think seeing so many different people with different backgrounds and experience levels come together and create cohesive work is such a special gift and doesn't really happen uh, very often. You know, there's always a lot of great parties and a lot of really wonderful other things to experience, but I think there's something about uh, the organic, live art that we bring uh, that is really special. As much effort as we put into it, all the energy and all the love that we put into it, we get twice as much back. by the end, kind of defeating that thing that said, no, you have to stay down and, and just allowing the firebird to fully spread its wings. And we kind of culminated that concept with the fabric moving out into the audience and connecting the performers with the audience members. And for me, that sense of connection uh, is really what Burning Man's all about. It's why I keep coming back, is it reminds me of our shared humanity. It, it helps me stay in tune with uh, who I am uh, beyond what I do and 
the sort of external things that define me. It's um, there's that flame in each of us that um, that if we can see that in one another, I feel like the world would be so much better of a place.